when did you start thinking about retiring? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, and I don't have a good answer for it. Uh, I mean, is it something that you think about? Or, I oh, mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Paul and I both, you know, mm -hmm. you, you get to a certain age mm -hmm. and it's time to start thinking about transition mm -hmm. because if you don't, you're not really helping the organization. Okay. And so anybody in our age bracket, you know, when, you, when you're in your 60s, if mm -hmm. you're not thinking about that, yeah. you, the organization is going, to, um, is going to move forward one way or another. Mm -hmm. You can do that smart mm -hmm. or by default. Mm -hmm. So of course we think about it. We think about it a lot. And because I deal with so many kids mm -hmm. and so many incredible teachers, mm -hmm. it's difficult for me not to not only think about the mm -hmm. idea, but candidates. And I don't mean just somebody who might sit in this chair a mm -hmm. year from now. I mean somebody who might sit in this chair 10 years from now, mm -hmm. 20 years from now. Some of these kids who come along and they just blow you away. Yeah. And I think, you could do my job. <laughs> Paul and I talk about some of these kids all the time. Mm -hmm. But it does seem to me that, that, um, that it is time. And I remember saying this to the board last night. It makes sense to me. The time to step aside, after you've been doing this for a while, mm -hmm is when the organization is moving forward, when it's growing, mm -hmm. when it's in, when it's healthy, mm -hmm. when it's in good shape, right. not when it's peaked or declining or right. in trouble. That's, yeah. that's the wrong time to give the ball to somebody <laughs> to hand off. Right, I know exactly. that's the corporate way. Mm -hmm. You bring in you know, a, a corporate cleanup guy or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. No, 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 we're in good shape. This yeah. thing is moving forward. Yeah. That's when you give the ball. Mm -hmm. I have two functions here. One is academy director and mm -hmm. one is associate artistic director. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking off both of those hats, but they're different hats, mm -hmm. and they won't be filled by the same person. Okay. We're looking at two different people. Okay. It's time to think it's of that as well. It's time to split them into... Truth is, ultimately, it's three people, because the, <laughs> the children's theater is a whole other thing. Right. But for a while, theater academy and children's theater, that's one person. Okay. Associate artistic director, or somebody who fills the need, the company need, for the artistic... Um, Input. Uh, one thing it will have is academy interns in every right. area of operation. Right. Eventually, academy students will be directing those shows, I think. Yeah. Not just acting, directing. Yeah. Producing, designing, writing. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. So both of these, they're already moving in this direction. Mm -hmm. And I think over the next 10 years, they'll both just explode mm -hmm. in those directions. Yeah. We had the same philosophy. I kind of coined that phrase. Mm -hmm. life, they still use it, life skills or stage skills. Mm -hmm. It didn't really make sense to me until I got here. Yeah. I started working with Paul and working in that room over yeah. there and working with the traditions in 140 years mm -hmm. and the spirits that Robin and I were talking about a little <laughs> while ago that linger here. Yeah. I never met Miss Emily. Um, I point to a thing on the wall over there that's <laughs> made of styrofoam. I think of that as Miss Emily. Right. Miss Emily has <laughs> a, a, an impact on me. Yeah. A lot of our students never met Riarco Smith, but mm -hmm. he has an impact on them. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. There have been those before who did their work so we can be here now. If we do our work, others will follow. So this acknowledge the present, honor the past, salute the future. Mm -hmm. Even 12-year-olds catch on to that. Right. Like Paul was saying, it's about we, and that we is a big thing. So next year, uh, next year's academy then will be your last. You'll be there. That summer will yeah. be my last official uh, capacity. Again, I'm, right. I'm moving into my emeritus years. <laughs> I like that word, <laughs> right. emeritus years. What does that mean? I don't know. Director emeritus, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds like you're leaning back and drinking coffee, sort of like I'm doing now. Right. <laughs> and then what I will do um, after this is a bit of an improv, but you know, that's okay. Yeah. But I will have to say that um, a big factor driving it is my own son. Um, I don't know if you've met my son, Max. No, I don't think I have. He's a senior at Hardaway, mm -hmm. he has autism, mm -hmm. and that's been an incredible journey for us mm -hmm. as well. Um, an exciting, frustrating, um, uh, a wonderful, terrifying mm -hmm. journey that yeah. lots and lots and lots of parents are going through. Mm -hmm. So I'm just discovering it. So I'm waking up this morning, yeah. I mean, literally waking up this morning and going to a doctor and hearing the word autism for the first time. I know what that feels like. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And so for the next 10, 20, 30 years of their lives, you're going to be discovering what that means and who are they becoming? Because we don't know. Yeah. So Max is transitioning to another stage of his life. Mm -hmm. And it's very scary. Yeah. 
he will work and live and work independently in some fashion, mm -hmm. we hope, that's the best case scenario, yeah. over the next four, five, six, ten years. What he needs is more of my time and not less of it. Yeah, and Ron's decision to step down at, at this time really is in the context of the profound impact that he has had mm -hmm. on thousands and thousands of families in this area, the imp impact he has had on me personally and mm -hmm. professionally, and this entire organization. So we are moving. The train has left the station, <laughs> whether Ron's on it or not. Right. The train has left the station. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's a forward momentum here that is undeniable. Yeah, it's exciting. It has to be kind of scary. I don't know if scary is the word, but the Springer... Scary is a good word. ...in 18 months is not going to be the Springer right. that... But it's like know. it's like any big change. Yeah. It's, it's exciting and terrifying all at the same time. That's right. what life is supposed to be like. Yeah. Life is not supposed to be a smooth, steady thing. Yeah. You're supposed to take risks. Right. You're supposed to make a big, bold choice. Because mm -hmm. we say that to kids every day in class. Right. Don't be afraid. Make a big choice. Mm -hmm. This transition will be happening, and in a way, it you won't even notice that it's happening. Yeah. And then it'll just be there and it continues. Yeah. The New York Yankees will continue without <laughs> Derek Jeter. Right. They're still a good team. Mm -hmm. They may not win. I personally hope they don't win. <laughs> you know, because we love to hate them. Yeah. <laughs> but that that's the way to that's the way to do it. Yeah. Announce that you're gonna play another year. Yeah. And you play hard. So we all celebrate that. Yeah. We recognize that we've had a journey together and we celebrate that and we welcome the adventure to come. Mm -hmm.